What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Elder Scrolls Lore. Today we're going to be talking about the Ebonheart Pact. The Ebonheart Pact was a faction in the Three Banners War. They bore the colors red and black. They were politically fragile, yet boasted one of the most powerful militaries that Tamriel has ever seen. It was formed in 572 of the Second Era during the Second Akaviri Invasion. Unlike the other alliances, they banded together due to the threat of Melag Ball and the other alliances as well as outside threats. These three races hated each other and were forced to work, to, uh, forced to unite or die divided. The Doomner and the Nords had a long-standing rivalry already, and the Nords, uh, by the Nords having consistently and co constantly trying to invade, as well as raiding Morrowind. The Argonians and the Doomner hated each other as well, and this because the Doomner had constantly enslaved the Argonians and continued to practice to enslave the Argonians. Yeah. <laughs> this pact stretched from Skyrim to Morrowind to Black Marsh. Its capital was in the city of Mornhold in the mainland of Morrowind. However, the faction is led by a Nord, Jeroen Skald King. Each province uh, shared one goal, and that was to preserve their independence from the Empire of Cyrodiil. When the Akaviri invaded, the, uh, they, they hit the city of Windhelm and destroyed it, basically wiping out everything, including Skyrim's, uh, Skyrim's royal family. The Akaviri soon marched to Riften. In desperation, the new High King, Joran, went to the Greybeards for guidance. They called on Wolfharth, the Ash King, from Sovngarde for assistance. The Nords rallied. Sorry, my itch distracted me. Uh, the Nords rallied to Drun, and they stood ready to fight the Akaviri. Realizing the Nords pos posed a significant threat, the Akaviri marched to Morrowind, thinking the Nords would back off once they left the uh, left the province. But Drun followed and crossed the Velothi Mountains again. Should already, I should just state this at the beginning. I for, forgive me if I mispronounce anything. Velothi Mount. There you are. They cross the Velothi Mountains. The Nords harassed the Akaviri until the uh, the Akaviri were met by a Doomner army led by the tri uh, Tribunal Almalexia outside Evenheart and the Stone Falls region. As the battle began, the Akaviri fighting. Uh, uh, the Akaviri were fighting on two sides. They were still, however, they still outnumbered both armies. It was here when an Argonian army. Turn the page arrived from the south, led by um, Hieta Min. Hieta Min, she had, gathered an, uh, she had gathered an army after the hiss revealed of an upcoming battle uh, in, her, in a dream of hers. This is rough. I don't know why I'm having such a rough time doing this. The Akaviri were forced north and were either killed in battle or drowned at sea trying to escape the wrath of the combined three armies. In 579 of the Second Era, the three armies united at the Great Moot to avoid and prevent confrontations with one another. The Great Moot was comprised of three members, Jeroen Skull King, uh, General Yebeth Naramil, and Eyes of Steel. They assembled at Schoolful, uh, School, uh, School Dofton, no, School, School Dofton, I don't know why that was so hard, I kept adding a D where there wasn't a D, School Dofton, after they defeated the army of uh, Fieldgore Orkthane. It should be noted that Fieldgore Orkthane is uh, Jeroen's brother. And he was a Nord who led a co uh, Covenant army to attack the, the Ebonheart Pact. Although, although Jeroen Skald King was a, the pack leader, all decisions had to be presented and decided upon in the Great Moot. Jeroen was said to uh, be both humorous and inspiring, and he held an iron will and spent a majority of his time in Morhold, despite being the High King of Skyrim. And that is it. This was the shortest one of the three alliances. Next week, next week, maybe next week, or maybe this will be before this comes out. So I'm doing all three videos today on the three factions of uh, the Elder Scrolls Online. So either I'm pretty sure this will uh, the first Old Mary Dominion will come out, then this will come out, and then the Daggerfall Covenant will come out. The Daggerfall Covenant is the longest of the three factions. So. I will see you guys in the next video. What do you guys think? Uh, do you think that the I'm forgetting why am I, the Even Heart Pact is the best of the three? I mean, personally, I think they're the most badass of the three because they have, th well, at least uh, the Doomner really weren't a personal favorite of mine, but the Nords and Argonians are, and they are two badass races that have really strong histories of like 
Great War because I've been doing the I'm doing the Argonian video soon and I've been busy so I haven't been able to get to that. These topics that I'm covering like this are a little bit easier than doing an entire race with a lot of history. So that being said, no, I knew I, I found out a lot about the Argonians and that's they pretty much have a badass history and then the Nords obviously from Skyrim. But that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys have any topic suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please give this a like and subscribe too. I managed to forget that part, but yeah, get it. I'm like using hand motions. You guys can't see me, but I'm like pointing to the, the end screen annotations. Yeah. Deuces.